three Michelin star chef from the Netherlands. And, and Jacob, I, we just tried some of your dishes and your techniques, and then you've also been here in Korea for several days. What are some of the things that you are going to be taking away from your trip here? I've learned a lot of experience, and I like it to travel. In. I like to speak with other chefs in other world uh, parts because it's so interesting that you see not only uh, that yeah, the, the classics or the traditional things, but you see also the new way is coming here. And last year Michelin was coming out, and they gave two restaurants uh, three stars and then a few one and two stars, I believe. I, uh, three with two stars and uh, yes. many with one star and I think it's opening my mouth for I have to go there. what is happening in Seoul and of course in the rest of South uh, Korean but mm -hmm. Seoul is the basic for international public and um, then there was an invitation of this fantastic event I cannot say no, I must go because of I want to learn what is happening here. And now I'm here and I can tell you I take a lot of ingredients with me back. Such as? Yeah, I don't know the names. I buy something, it looks very <laughs> interesting. Sometimes I make it open in the, uh, in the shops and I taste and I don't know what it is. But after in Holland we had uh, some guest who speaks very well South Korean. And she so be translated for me, oh. and then I know what it is. <laughs> this it, it makes me happy that I found new techniques, yeah, drying techniques maybe, or of uh, tasting techniques. The the basic of the kimchi I take with me, the the powder that it's like a pepper or something. Mm -hmm. I want to use it. I don't know why, but it is interesting. Mm. And what's so much Dutch cuisine? What's the Netherlands? Yeah, it's it's not easy. We have. Dutch cuisine, we are from almost 60% on the sea, the North Sea. Thus, of course, we work a lot with North Sea fish. One of the fishes that we, we loved in Holland is mackerel. But I saw also a type of mackerel here, but completely different. Um, but that is one of the fish, of course, vegetables. Of course, we had a lot of fast food. Yeah, fast food is in Amsterdam uh, some, some interesting thing, but it is not the thing that I like. I like to be uh, high in food, very fresh. I say always better the fish live than that, because when he is live you know how fresh he is. And I say always close your eyes, open your mouth and taste everything. What you don't see, yeah, there is no image about it, you have more flavors. I say these things always to young chefs, because they are young. Quality is the basic of success. But the Dutch cuisine really is, is, is normal local products, a lot of vegetables. The best is from your village because they are very fresh and uh, globalizing about um, all ingredients. A lot of spices, sweetness, sourness, uh, vinegars. We like to cook with vinegars. Yes, we yes. like to have a lot of balance. And so, how important is wine with your food? And yeah. at the restaurant, how many wines do you have? On my yes. wine list, almost 1,000 references. That means I, have, I like white Bourgogne because of the acidity. I like the, the light style. Of course, there are some houses. I'm very proud that I can buy it. Of course, to be Rouleau, uh, maybe you heard of this. Of course. Uh, Dauphiné, La Lubis. That are wines, they are expensive, but they are so incredible good in basic that you must buy them. And I say, uh, when I go to a restaurant in Europe, if they have an interesting wine list, the food is also interesting. Because you have to fight for expensive and interesting wines. You find them not everywhere. Sometimes you cannot buy them. Thus you have to fight for this. And if they fight for the wine list, they fight also in the kitchen. Right. That's my tip for food. That's wonderful. But um, we need, of course, we make wine in Holland. No, not a lot of wine. I don't know, but I think, since you, you can make wine. <laughs> I don't know exactly. But maybe there is, maybe in the future, when the gastronomy is growing, growing, there is some uh, 
uh, as outgoing right, men, yes. the uh, woman, they say, okay, I'm going to start with winemaking. Wine is very important in Europe. So for you, what was with one of your dishes, like classic signature dishes, what was an amazing perfect pairing? Uh, amazing, I cannot tell because uh, we like a lot and wine is so uh, personal uh, and the guests we can say this is a good combination, but if well, what you... what I'm saying is for you, I'm saying for Yeah, you, for me, personally, for yeah. You personally, and when you had that wine with your dish, you thought, wow, it makes my dish taste better. Yeah, I have, I have one dish, it's uh, different preparations of um, uh, Petit Point, it's um, uh, cream peas with uh, kumbhava, with lemongrass, with uh, lime, and uh, uh, Oosterschelde lobster. It's a typical Dutch lobster in this season. It's only in this season and it's incredible sweet taste and very, very soft. And there is a Riesling from Germany and I don't know the name, but the house is Becker, but I, I don't know the name of the, uh, the assemblage. Mm -hmm. But that combination, yes, that's like sex. Fantastic. <laughs> No, but the flavors, the, the, the flavors, and of course, it's never perfect, but I say always, you have to enjoy food, and when you don't eat, you have to taste one. Thank you.